Hey friends, this is a video that I recommended in the last video I made uh, during a tour review where it was a really cool story and I was all excited and super happy and and just everything looked great. But when I got into my vehicle and started kind of driving down the road and reflecting, I really realized that what it really felt like was a selfish asshole. And this is a, a video I made that really made me think about being really transparent and how 2020 and COVID, and all, Black Lives Matter, All Lives Matter, Blue Lives Matter, just the, the political uh, situation that's going on in our country, just how everything has made me act and feel. And uh, this is me really getting clear on, on how I don't want to be and how I don't want to feel in the future. So appreciate you checking it out. Give me some feedback below in the comments on what you uh, relate to or what you might be struggling with. Hey friends, uh, I'm driving, so I'm not going to stare into the camera and I'm not going to edit this or make it long, but I'm just driving down the road and I'm just thinking and reflecting and uh, I'm feeling like a total asshole is what I'm feeling like and I just can't believe how much this past year especially with all the fighting and all the race and the politics and COVID just everything, how hard it makes our heart and how hard uh, it makes us and I, I just... I'm almost embarrassed of what just happened and I was in a gas station and it's packed I'm, I'm on a 45 hundred mile trip and gone for two weeks and I just want to get home I got 300 miles left and this uh, I see this this black man walking up towards me and I'm just I just want to go home like I'm just want to go home and he's really kind and he says he needs jumper cables and I have jumper cables like I got jumper cables, but I can't move my phone right now, but I'm packed, right? My truck is packed. Like I'd have to unload half my truck to get him the help with jumper cables. And I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, there's a million people in this parking lot, why me? And the good side, the good side, right? The, the mom and me, and my mom, what she taught me, I just, I was aggravated, but I was going to help him. So I said, yeah, let me get gas. I'll pull over there. But inside, I'm like super annoyed, right? And I can't not leave someone in need, right? You know, and I'm just like, I just felt like a dick to tell him, like, go ask someone else or whatever. So I'm like, okay, all right. I'm going to have this little delay. we got to make this happen. And as I go to pull over, I remember that I have a brand new in the box jump starter that one of the companies sent me to do a tool review and I hadn't I hadn't even opened it yet. And here's why I feel like a dick. Is that my attitude went from, oh, poor, blah, poor me, well, come on, why, blah, 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 to now this was going to serve me, like this was going to help me, like I need to make content on this. And I think I'm just addicted. I'm, I'm addicted. I just lost another relationship. I haven't made good friends I like I'm just so caught up in this YouTube world and content and I'm, I need a break like I need a break to get back to me and like genuinely want to help someone because they need help and receive joy from helping others the whole point of me getting into any of this was to help others if you remember or if you don't know if my mom passed in a way like the whole passion behind what I do was about helping others and I just I sat and I thought gosh I found no joy in an opportunity to help another human being like no joy and then the race should have it kicked in of like looking around and a million people and feeling like what's up like having to analyze the situation I would have never done that in the past like I would have never had to worry like am I at a gas station in the middle of nowhere am I gonna leave my truck open is there gonna be some issue is there is, is there gonna be any problems like I fucking hate the world that we live in and the hardness it's made our heart and it's really making me uh, just just I'm fucking sad about it and I just because here's the reality so we opened this tool and we we used it and I was all excited like the experience for me and I think the experience for my new friend Tony was it was awesome like he was broke down this saved the day I'm super pumped because I got the content I need 
and I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And the dude was so cool. Like, he was excited to hold the camera. He had no problem. Uh, we ended up talking about, you know, where are you from? Where'd you grow up? What are you doing? Oh, you're from here. You're from there. Yeah, I did this and blah, blah. Like, we had this great conversation. Then he started telling me how he's, you know, turned some wrenches on a new home he bought with his wife and how he's done a timing belt and this. We started talking about YouTube. Like, the whole experience was awesome. And I almost missed out on it because my heart has hardened over this world and just people and we really miss out on greatness. We really miss out on the beauty of engaging with other people regardless of who they are, where they're from. Uh, I mean, that guy could have asked a million people in that parking lot. He walked up to this white dude, no idea why. and ask for help in the world that we're in now and this is now this is 2020 so if this video is watched in the future it's october 24th of 2020 i i cannot let and i want to encourage others i used to do a lot of this stuff like i used to do a lot of what's on my thought you know what's on my mind and what's on my heart and i got away from all of it like my heart just grew really hard and uh i just gotta encourage you and challenge you don't miss out on beautiful, beautiful little things. I'm so focused on my needs that I didn't find it a joy to grab jumper cables and give someone skill sets that I have to get them out of a bind. Even if it's been broke down the road, it sucks. Wait till you see this video someday when it comes out, like how bad this dude's jump uh, battery cables were. But I don't know. Anyway, I'm. I'm going to hit reset and I'm going to just try and smile through this and just I'm going to keep my eyes open for the opportunities to be an awesome human being. This guy, he made me realize like he was just awesome even though he needed the help. He was just kind and, and he just had a softness to him and I miss, I miss having a softness. I miss uh, talking to people and, and sharing life been crazy. I'm coming off a two-week trip working remotely uh, for Zipline for the drone company and it's been great. So great to work with co-workers that were passionate, excited about serving people and then I spent time with my family. I got to work remotely and spend time with my aunt who I love dearly and, and uh, her boyfriend I call him Uncle Frank and even got to see a nephew. I just, man I miss, I miss a lot of things so I hope you are all being safe. I hope you're all being open to a lot of these things I talked about. And I hope that you are, uh, you're happy. I feel better just saying this because when I hit the record button, I really felt selfish and shitty and didn't feel like myself, but there's light at the end of the day. Anyway, make it great. Be safe. Uh, thanks. Just get home. So.